In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus ZNS. This is sulfuric acid plus zinc sulfide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. If we look at this, the molecular equation here, it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we can write the state for each substance. So sulfuric acid is a strong acid. It's a strong electrolyte. We're going to write AQ because that'll be dissolved in water. Zinc sulfide, that's going to be insoluble in water, so it's going to have to be a solid here. So we'll have solid zinc sulfide. Sulfates, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble. This is going to be aqueous, dissolved in the water. And then H2S, this is going to be aqueous as well, but we have to be careful because this is a weak acid, so it's going to be a weak electrolyte. Now let's split the strong electrolytes, the strong electrolytes, into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Hydrogen's in group one on the periodic table. It'll be a one plus and the whole sulfate ion, two minus. Good one to remember. So we have two hydrogen ions, two H plus, and we'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we'll have our zinc sulfide here, it's going to stay together. Those are our reactants. In the products, zinc is always going to be a 2 plus. We said the sulfate 2 minus. So we'll have our zinc ion, Zn2 plus. We'll have our sulfate ion, that SO4 2 minus. And then even though this is aqueous, it's a weak electrolyte. It's a weak acid. So we're going to call this, we're just going to keep it together as H2S. We're not going to split it apart because it's not a strong electrolyte. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. The only thing that's the same in the reactants and the products, that's this sulfate ion here. We have it here and then in the products again too. So that's a spectator ion and we can cross it out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus ZNS. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sulfuric acid plus zinc sulfide. You'll note charge is conserved. We have two times one plus, that's two plus. And then over here on this side, we have a two plus. So charge is the same. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus ZNS. Thanks for watching.